let us resume and uh, so we will do certain examples from here uh, to create some blocks for the electrical legend you can see that there are different uh, symbols that uh, are there to create a electrical uh, layout so we will learn about uh, to create some of the blocks and see how we can use and further also we will learn about dynamic blocks so in dynamic blocks we'll be learning uh, some of the features of it uh, to see the applications its application in the project how it is applied and then later on we will be learning about attributes how attributes are used so let's uh, create some of the blocks over here uh, from the electric legend so you have this 120 volt duplex convenience outlet so so if you need to create this one so let's create a circle so you can take a, a circle which is convenient like for example uh, we are in mm right now so we would like to create a block in mm so let's say we can take around 100 mm dia or we can have uh, uh, around 150 we can increase the dia to 150 mm uh, so that uh, it's, it looks uh, a type of uh, kind of uh, a bigger kind of size so then we can see that there are uh, two lines over here so we can have uh, uh, a line over here let's say i can create one line so let's say i create if i want to have a symmetrical line so i have a line over here so i take an offset let's say of uh, 25 so 25 this side and 25 this side and uh, then i can do a mirror of it so i create the symbol of uh, uh, this is the uh, symbol of uh, 120 volt uh, duplex convenience outlet so let's say if i want to um, so then other thing is that we need to also understand that about the layers in which i want to put so right now i am creating it in the zero layer but uh, we have to be very particular about in which layer we are creating so let's say i create a block now b for block specify on screen and uh, select the object so let's say if I want to specify the, let's say I want to have the pick point over here, not specify on screen. So pick point is the center point. Now let me name this block. So the name of the block, let's say right now, I name it as 120B. So now the name of the block would be 120 volt duplex convenience outlet. So I can rename the block uh, right now from uh, you're matching the uh, legend so let's say we have the rename option uh, I can rename the block so so it says that uh, R -E -N -A -M -E, rename and uh, you have the block so you can rename this to let's say 120 underscore vault uh, duplex so here uh, uh, vault duplex outlet so Basically, what you need to understand is uh, these names will go along with uh, the uh, legend. So, so I'll also tell you how to create the uh, legend uh, convenience outlet. So, here along with the block, I will also uh, explain you how to create electrical uh, uh, legend. So, the name is uh, uh, updated. So, you can now use it by the insert tool let's say i want to use this one and uh, i can insert it at a point where i want it to do so this is how i have created one so i'll be creating uh, let's say some of them and then i'll create a legend like this and make sure the name basically matches with the name over here in the legend so next is basically i wanted to create a gfci 120 volt gfci duplex outlet so let's say so uh, I would uh, have the similar kind of approach. So what I will do is I'll insert the uh, uh, block and then explode it so that I can I can create a GFCI. So for that I need to write the text over here. So write the dtext command and uh, rotation angle zero and uh, let's say you write uh, GFCI and uh, you can uh, basically and press enter. So you can have the scale done over here uh, while you are creating it. Let's say I want to scale this text, uh, let's say 0.75 and uh, or you can have the size changed from the properties also. So you can have the ch command from the change properties and uh, right now the height is 150. So you can have the height as 100.
So now you can see that the block comes up with the text. So create a block, select the object, and uh, let's say go with the pick point. And uh, so now you can basically pick the center point also. And uh, say, so now you have to name name the block. Let's say you want to GFCI, you want to name it GFCI. So later on we can rename it. So redefine it. So it's done. Uh, then you can have this uh, junction box, uh, the cable television. So I'll be having this single pole switch and three-way switch. Uh, let's say if I want to have the symbol of single pole switch. So I can write the text, uh, let's say start point. And uh, here to create the symbol, I write S and uh, with the S press enter. And I'll have straight line over here with the switch. Like uh, let's say I can can have a straight line here so this shows the symbol of a single pole switch so I can create a block for the single pole switch so now uh, I'll create a block this is uh, the uh, single pole switch uh, let's say I'll create a single pole switch name it a single pole switch so you have to see the name nomenclature because that will come into the legend will tell you how you can extract it uh, the date the name and say okay so next uh, you will create a you can create a three way switch also so i would be interested to create a uh, let's say recessed light so let's say i take a circle let's say around uh, i would suggest that i'd go with 200 mm dia uh, circle the dia is uh, 200 mm and uh, so the symbol looks like uh, two circles are there so you can take an offset and uh, you can have uh, whatever value it is so you do not have to be particular about the dimensions now you can see that circles it becomes polygon when you zoom so there's a command called a regenerate command so by regenerating you can regenerate the uh, polygons which are distorted while you zoom and there is a command called view res so the maximum uh, if you make it y yes so what will happen and give the maximum value let's say 2000 uh, 20,000 uh, so between uh, 1 and 20,000 so let me give a value let's say so what will happen now I need not have to do uh, regeneration time to time it will be automatically zoom so let me give a value let's say uh, let me have an offset for it and I create a block select an object and uh, pick a point so I name it as recessed wall, uh, light or I can see light uh, recessed light so pick point uh, select object so it is done and uh, Say, okay so and the other thing that I would like to do is the fluorescent light so I take a rectangle let's say the rectangle shape would be let's say 1200 in X and uh, let's say uh, 50 in Y so this is the uh, fluorescent light so you can uh, create a block and uh, pick a point over here so that uh, and uh, you write fluorescent light okay and then you can have uh, different symbols for let's say square recessed light light fan combination okay you can have for the uh, smoke detector and other thing so uh, this is how you create uh, blocks that has, you can uh, use it for uh, while you're drafting uh, electrical layout so let me insert it uh, let me go with the rename and see whether the name are fine so i have the blocks so with this you have this uh, gfci resist light okay now let's say if i want to create a legend like this so i want to create the legend here and uh, so i create a rectangle first for the legend uh, explode it and uh, fine and then I have a sufficient space, uh, let's say I explode it, 
and I have a sufficient space for uh, uh, the block to be inserted and then the definition. Now look into this point, how do I develop it? So I go for an insert option. So let's say I want to insert this. So I insert the symbol here, right? At this point, I can scale it also uh, if I want. So this is one symbol. And uh, then the other symbol that I want is, uh, I'll just put it below. The, let's say I need the GFCI. So this way I put all the blocks in place. Let's say I have the single pole switch. So I'm just maintaining a symmetry so that uh, I can uh, so then uh, I insert another, uh, uh, let's say, the fluorescent light. So I can put it here. Okay. Now uh, what I need to do is just, uh, you know, get the, uh, I want to insert the name of the uh, block here. So for this, I would go to the insert option and there is an option called field so here there is a, in the field uh, we have uh, we have to select this field dialog box is selected uh, is uh, displayed so in the object you need to a uh, object type select the object and uh, here you can see that uh, you can basically uh, insert whatever properties it is having into the legend for example if you want to insert the name of the block so this is the preview uh, you can have it at the first capital so you can uh, insert it here right and then let's say if you want to insert other names so you have this field and uh, select the object and uh, go for uh, so you can uh, so i have taken so now here the different field has been selected so go with the field and uh, Select the block and uh, I would uh, go with the name as the property that I want to insert. So I have this insert option. Uh, let me uh, take the field and uh, select the object. So here now it uh, sees that it is a block and then take the property that you want to take and uh, then you can uh, put it here. So this is way. Now you can see that there is an update option. Let's say if I uh, rename this. So uh, for example, I go with the rename command and let's say if I rename the block, uh, let's say if I want to rename the single pole switch one and uh, you can see that uh, invalid. So this is the uh, name and I want to rename it as single pole, let's say. Uh, switch so you will see that uh, what will happen uh, if I select this and update the field so it will change now this underscore is coming but uh, let's say if I want to remove the field uh, highlight I can explode it but if I explode it the background masking will go and uh, the link between the block and the uh, attributes will not be there so this is how we create the legend and then we can mark it so this is uh, the simple way of creating a legend so you can create legends of any type like for example uh, legend for any kind of symbols that you're using in your drawing next uh, i would be talking about the dynamic blocks so here in the dynamic blocks i would be introducing uh, some of the features of dynamic blocks i want to tell you how it is useful uh, with one example and then I will tell you about what is attributes and uh, how attributes are useful in the project with the blocks.